Alright, here we go. Two of my brews coming up, one against one another. All of these red sleeves, you know how the Legacy Gauntlet, and they're all in black sleeves? But the Legacy decks are legit. Uh, however, in this case, these are. this is for my modern gauntlet that's upcoming. It's being built slowly but surely. Uh, but it's all brews, which has changed somewhat dramatically after the unbanning of Jason Bloodbray. I, I have some new ideas for what's going in. Alright, so here we go. To see who goes first, hello, we have sound, okay, uh, a winner is me, and so I would like to go first, mm -hmm. alright, I'll keep, mm -hmm. I didn't even look, actually, before I said that, which is not, not where I need to be, okay, yeah, but I am keeping, I'll keep, so, if I don't know what this match is, um, yeah, I'm still going to play a fetch. There's no way I can know what I would have done if I didn't see this, but I think it's right for me to windswept Heath, get a forest, because I'm going to play a Birds of Paradise, and sometimes when you have a bird or a noble, you get a basic to ensure yourself a little bit. I wonder, though, if I didn't know what I was playing against, if I could divorce myself from that decision. But I, I do think that's the right play. Anyway, pass to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, red. XO Obscure uh -oh. Guard. Uh-oh. Bolt the bird. <laughs> Bolt. The bird has been bolted. Indeed. A braid the guard. bird. Well, you've seen what this deck is capable of, so this is me not blaming you at all. Now, see, if I see Mountain of Braid, that really doesn't tell me enough on its own uh, as to what I should expect. So, we're going to go Flooded Strand and just pass the turn. And when you see the contents of my hand, that, uh, there's not really much else of a choice I have. Go ahead. Alright, we are going to fetch it into turn. Mm -hmm. Go to 18. Let's see. Now again, I, I haven't seen anything that tells me that it's I probably, if I made a hard read, I could say it's a Blood Moon deck. Actually, it's not that hard of a read. You just cast a Braid, which can't target my face, so it's not Burn. So at this point, I probably should know, but I'm going to pretend I don't, that somehow I haven't uh, picked up that it's a Blood Moon deck. Okay, so there we go. So we play another fetch land, and then I think we pass the turn, because I have these that I could... Oh, well, let me just show you. I forgot the screen's turned around, so he can see, too, or at least can see, like, the color. Let me flip it around real quick. So this is the conservative route. This is the aggressive route. I don't know what I'm up against yet. I guess, because they're basic mountains, I know it's not Scred. But ideally they would be snow-covered, which would make it a little harder for me to know. fetch. And at this point, I think we have a pretty good indication with a chalice out. Because I'm seeing a bunch of basic mountains, and it was the next card. Yeah. 
the old spell pierce. The spell pierce is about to run out of value anyway. Alright. There you go. Next turn? Mm -hmm. Alright. So we are going to shock. Want blue, white, colorless for Daxos of Melitus, which I'm assuming you'll have to read. So you don't really care so much about the it can't be blocked part. That means very, very little to your deck. Uh, more importantly, when it deals combat damage, I'm going to gain life exile a card and have the ability to cast that down the road. Well, until end of turn, actually. So not that far down the road. And then I'll pass the turn. There we go. Something like that. Daxos being Daxos. I love how the colors we have on the phone for our life total are the the one color that our decks don't have. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Go ahead. Alright. Draw, swing, hit you for two. Yep. Alright, let me make sure I do this correctly as my sleeve almost knocks the deck over. Alright, exile the top card of that player's library. You may gain life equal to that card, seems C. Okay. Until end of turn, you may cast that card. Okay. <laughs> so that just is going to stay exiled. I can't cast a land after all. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Um, in that case, I guess we're just going to run out a cold eyed Selkie and pass the turn. This is the one that when it deals combat damage, I, gain, I draw that many cards. Dark steel. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, what's in your graveyard? A braid. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and this is. Let's see. Instant or sorcery. So a braid's the only target. All right, Dark Dweller resolves. Yeah, hit it. Spell Pierce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Well, Daxos can still attack. So that's, um, hmm, when am I supposed to do this? I think I'm supposed to do this now. Yeah, we are going to Vapor Snag your Goblin Dark Dwellers so that Cold Eyed Selkie can get in. Alright, swing for three, mm -hmm. exile the top card, gain two life, I can cast that. A lot of good that's going to do me, though. And then... Uh, tri whoa, 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 my deck this time. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> Let's not screw that up. Okay, well, the only legal target for a braid that isn't one of my creatures is your indestructible land, so... I think we're just going to let that stay exiled. Yeah. Alas. And then we're going to pass the turn. This is not how my deck is meant to play out, but okay. Mm. Targeting. Uh, breeding pool. Hmm. Uh, 
float flew. Okay, two more coming afterwards. Hmm. Yeah, float blue, and it's gone. I'll take two. Mm -hmm. Last turn. Combat? Mm -hmm. Alright. Trigger? Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's gonna do its thing. Trigger, cold light cell key. And then I will pass the turn. some computer work done while we're contemplating our turn. And that was cute. Um, Full Moon Intermage is good. Good. Distortion strike? Mm -hmm. I would like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. Strike just gave it an extra one look, right? A plus one, plus zero, oh, and unblockable. Oh, okay. However, the Dexos is not unblockable. Oh, he was. It would power three or greater. He is. Oh. Okay. But your Fulminator can trade. Mm. Yeah. That's okay. Great. I'll obviously hit you for two. Mm -hmm. Draw two cards. And then I will pass the turn. We're going to pierce that as soon as I can get a breeding pool. All right. Good times. So there's that. Go ahead. Upkeep, rebound. Mm -hmm. Whee! It's upkeep, untap, apparently. Draw. We'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing for two. Yeah. Hit you for two, draw two. Play Noble Hierarch, and then 
we're going to pass the turn. And if it looks missequenced, unfortunately that's one of the cards I drew off of Kuldide. So didn't have much of a choice there. Word. Hmm. You have served me well. Now, that one, though, I cannot abide. Go ahead. Alright. Draw. I'm gonna shock myself, go to 10. Cephalid Constable. Yeah, we're uh, we're there. We're we're trying to do it. And then I will tap my lands differently because that's not how that works. <laughs> it's blue, one blue, blue. Um, and then we will pass the turn. A. Alright, that Dark Dweller from ten ages ago. It's leaked. Go ahead. Alright. So here's draw. Distortion Strike. Mm -hmm. I like to swing for three. Yeah. We're going to just bounce three of your mountains to your hand. And then play another constable. Pass the turn. Yeah, that's uh, that's the lock. That's the deck when it does what it's supposed to do. Gets the Cephalid Constable and just says, no more magic. I mean, I, I guess the grass is greener on the other side. I rather like the cold. Um, certainly more than super duper summer, but then again, I'm also from Georgia, so, you know, we, we get super duper hot summer all the time. I say super duper hot. Some Someone who's watching this in... You know, uh, we do have some Indian viewers. That's pretty hot. Oh, All right. Uh, nope. Um, well, mm. whale. Hmm. I think it's probably too risky. I'm gonna sh ship it. It's a one lander and a bird. So if you bolt the bird or get out of turn one chat, and of course the next two are lands. Yeah, okay, so it would have worked. I did not trust that, especially against the land destruction deck with Chalice. So... Ooh, okay. Conrad, what are you doing, bud? Oh, look at you. I am defending my tripod from being bumped. Alright. Here you go. Let's see what six gives me. Come on. Okay, there we go. Here's six. I mean, yeah, I'll keep getting used to get my scrying on. I will keep, and we're good. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it's all good, dude. Yeah. Alright. Draw. Windswept into a forest. Now I'm sure I need the forest. Now I think that's pretty clear. Although, because his land destruction isn't just Blood Moon, destruction, but you know what I mean. He can beat basic lands. If all I have are basic lands to get, that's not going to be enough. 
Hello, there is a forest. Personally, this is my favorite forest. That autumnal Innistrad look. Addison restored. I love it. Anyway, we're dropping the turn one noble and passing the turn. Go ahead. Alright. Misty, fetch. Mm -hmm. Getting an island. Just an island. Okay, once again, watch it be right at the top. Hey! Not too far. Alright. Well, might as well give it a shot. Cephalid Constable, do your thing. Which is to say, get a braided right here and pass turn. I think if you had an abraid, you would have hit the noble just and there it goes. Okay. Duh. I said. <laughs> All right. Um, pass that. Well, well, I'm not. I'm not good. I'm not done yet. We're getting there though. Simple Garden tapped, past turn. Okay. So, if it's Blood Moon, we're okay. Let's see. So this is a card I would pretty obviously take out if I were sideboarding, but he's not sideboarding either. Ooh, uh, Mold Mold Ring. Ring. Yeah. Yeah, not much I can do about that. I will take two. Go ahead. All right. Well, um, Distortion Strike? No, no need. Um, okay then. Well, start off, combat. Yep. Uh, bounce two of your mountains. Uh oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, one, two, three. Geist of Saint Draft. All right, and then pass turn. Why couldn't this happen once the last time? When last I played this deck, I got 5 0'd. I got bodied. Yeah, so, um. This is a broken magic card, if you can ever actually hit with it. It's hitting with it in the first place that's the trick. That card is bonkers. I actually legitimately thought about putting Unstable Mutation in this deck so I could hit with a 4-4. Four four. Ooh, okay. Good. Swing for two, bounce two mountains, and then pass turn. Uh, hmm. Pierce? Okay. Yeah, and then he just stays on one lane for the rest of the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, that's what the deck is supposed to do. The, the dead card in hand is Vapor Snag. Uh, there, there aren't a lot of instances where that's going to do much. It could save one of my creatures at the cost of one mana and one life. But that's really all I'd be keeping it in for, which is to say, I would not be keeping it in. Uh, cards that would have come in natural state. Um, 
I don't actually have a way to beat a chalice of the void, well, to remove a chalice of the void. So natural state might actually be, need to be reconsidered. But it's for the blood moon. So yeah, that's that's how the deck is supposed to do its thing.